How much money is this? Enough. Oh my God. I guess I'm going to be counting tonight. <laughs> I'm going to cry. Hey, it is your girl Ellen DeGeneres. We are back again with yet another trip to the thrift. You guys have been showing so much love on these videos, man. The last video's got like 20 something thousand. The video before that has like over 70,000 and the one before that's got like over 50,000. It's freaking crazy. It's all over the place, but the support I've been getting is unreal. So thank you guys. Everyone that likes these videos shows love in the comments. I do appreciate it. Even on my Supreme videos where I talk about the Supreme drop list and what I think is going to resale and recommend what I think you guys should buy if you guys want to resale. I see comments literally saying like, yo, we want more trips to the thrift, more trips to the thrift. So that is so freaking dope because if you guys have been following the channel, I started doing trips to the thrift way before I ever talked about Supreme on here. And that's what I love to do. So it's sick to see support for that. So thank you guys. Also, I'm able to bring you guys some deals on Thrift Row. That's the website where I sell a lot of the vintage goods that I find in the thrifts. And on the Instagram, we are almost at 9,200. My goal is 10,000 by 2020. My cost, all my cost is 2,000 in 2020. I don't always like saying my goals because I'm afraid that I'm not going to hit it, but I have faith that we are going to hit it. Literally last week, we were at 8,000. So make sure you follow Follow Thrift Row. It's going to be somewhere on the screen and in the description down below. Thank you guys for the support. Seriously, I have post deals on there. I find cool single stitch tees in the bins that I pay 50 cents for. So I sell them for like 5 to $10 sometimes. And these are tees that I've seen other vintage sites literally try to sell for like $70 to $100 just because it's from the 90s and it's single stitch. And I'm not knocking no one's hustle. I'm just saying there are definitely some deals. So check out Thrift Row. It's going to be somewhere on the screen in the description down below. Like I said, hopefully by the time this video goes live, there's another drop live with it. But that being being said, it is time to go hit the trenches and hopefully find some goods, baby. All right, guys, I was not gonna come to the thrift today. However, my boy RJ right here inspired me to just hit a couple bins. Who is it? Oh, it's just my best friend. <laughs> we just become best friends. Yep. Look, man, my boy RJ got a camera, you know what I'm saying? Videos there, coming. So there ain't trouble now. Anyways, I forgot my other glasses, so I look like uh, the love child of Harry Potter and Ellen DeGeneres. Um, I'm gonna cast a spell on this Goodwill and hopefully find some heat inside. It makes me think when a plane is flying that close, what if he just like flew by and just took a shit on us? There's literally nothing we could do about it. Ooh, yeah, they're opening the door, which is good because I'm getting cold. Not on the front. This one's freaking many. This one's hard. That one goes for a lot, bro. This is the uh, Giants snapback. Freaking. <laughs> <laughs> so my player RJ hit obviously you see big head Dennis Rodman right there low key my head's a little bit bigger looking like Jimmy Neutron Ooh, little finger action Ooh, oh. and excited but yeah distressed car heart that means high fashion for those of you guys that do not know high fashion as fuck all right guys so basically all i got today was this i did do a little car heart drop today on the website like i said if you guys do not follow thrift row change your life follow thrift row t-h-r-i-f-t-r-o-w i posted a ton of car hearts right now i'm photographing products measuring products getting everything ready for the next thrift row release that being said my twinkle toes are out and of course your boys gotta go make a little buyout real quick for my bro godzilla like last minute is just dipping you guys may have seen godzilla in previous trips to the thrift he's going to arizona and he always blesses me with deals he's always is finding heat in the bins now he did say he doesn't have too much but we're gonna go check out what he's got and uh hopefully we can get some heat and just buy some heat off of a fellow thrifter all right man my bro got all the clothes we can lay on the hood that might work holy shit Ooh. another little nike check blue tag the fast growing newspaper in the road that's sick that's super dope <laughs> was that six total i think it's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh yeah that's true the black one yeah we can do that 70. 70 nigga so now we're at 150. i don't know what i'll be able to sell it for but i, I do like this one the most this is probably my favorite one to be honest yeah you do 100 for all um, yeah, I'll do 100 for all three. That's fair. 270s for everything. All right, man. Deal is complete. I'm telling y'all, if you guys live in Arizona or just in general, if you guys want some deals on some finished shit, check out my man. He always hooks it up. A lot of those Nike pieces that I had on my last drop on Thrift Row, he blessed me with. We got some deals. Check them out. I appreciate you, brother, always. Gotcha. Man, you will be missed, my G. All right, so I grabbed this. This is pretty freaking crazy. Single stitch Space Jam. You see the cover of the movie right here. Double XL. The fact that it's single stitch with this crazy fade on it. This is definitely a very, very valuable piece. Probably the best piece to come out this morning. RJ gave me this because he felt really bad that he sold this fire hair Jordan piece that I wanted. And he sold it before I hit him up. And then RJ grabbed this beautiful freaking Fred Flintstone piece. Honestly, pretty good morning for the first rotation. Right, man, my bro, RJ pulled up on me and uh, I got him a little hard drive. And he, look, he brought me some gifts man these little salem 
Puma nope. cigarette Good. promo tees. Two of them, single stitch. The Mariners tee. I love the collegiate tees. These are some of my favorites. I actually sold one just like that. That's this it. is crazy. That's dope. Four corners. I found this at the bins, bro. Yo, that is many. So what's thought about this, too, is uh, not only is it all over print, but it's from 96 on the freeze. So if you guys don't know, that's like when Space Jam was doing their shit with that, that freeze tag. Ooh, and then Nike. Ba -ba! Ba -ba! She goes hard. It's missing the hood, but it's tight. Got the little Nike on the front pocket right there. Yeah, Nike, the, the big, big Nike check, check on the back. That Solid is condition. Fire, man. That's that, man. I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate you. By the way, guys, I don't know if he's gonna have a video live yet at the time this is filming, but a lot of you guys asked about his music. I'm gonna leave his song in the description, and if his video is live, he's gonna start making some trips to the thrift. This dude right here started the trip to the thrift scene, basically. Like, he was thrifting no, before no, me, no. before Paul, before all of us, but he is back like he never left, baby! Damn, I expected there to be way more people here. I'm not gonna lie to you. It does not seem that packed. Supposedly, on some Black Fridays, they push out bins like crazy. Let's see what they're talking about today. Hopefully, they push out a lot of bins. My least favorite part is waiting for more bins. I'm gonna go to sleep for a while while I wait for them to bring out some more rotations. I just wanna dig through clothes. Honestly, if I could really spend the rest of my life just digging through mounds of clothes, feeling the fabrics, trying to find cool pieces, my life would be complete. It's not too much to ask for. I imagine that's what heaven is like. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Hey, Yonya! Bro, who is this? Bro, what are you doing? Hey, Yonya! Yonya, why well, me and you? <laughs> hey, Yonya! <laughs> Hey, Yonya, what are you doing? So we're on first break. Uh, it's honestly been pretty good so far. I think it's been pretty Not decent. Too bad, bro. Rotations are going. I got a couple things. I'm looking kind of nervous because I got a good amount of stuff to the point where now, ever since that North Face was taken on my car, I'm worried about leaving stuff in my car. But right now, we're going to go get a delicious little smoothie. Mango, banana, but wait, with the peanut butter, baby. Delicious. Absolutely mandatory if you're going to go thrifting all day. You need one of these. Yeah, it's a saving gas. Boy. Ooh! All right, guys. So uh, it is currently 5:36 in the morning. I'm so freaking tired. I went to bed at 2 a.m. because I was literally just filming. I was. Proceed to North Pearl Street. Can you tell her shut up? She's interrupting my video. Right, shut up. I want you to do sign language on where we're going. All right? <laughs> Don't say a word. So me and RJ went thrifting yesterday. I'm not gonna put a lot of the footage from the racks that we went to, just because we went to a lot of racks and it was just like, as fuck. it was weak. It was definitely weak. That being said, I'm tired as shit. My eyeballs are itching like they were literally Satan's testicles. Sweaty and itchy and just on fire. I wanna get up. <laughs> oh, I hate you. <laughs> Dude, I was so tired. Sunset, <laughs> set, tuck bread, the broke is flashing, riches seem to stunt less. Stunt Fake less. piss in my boxes to pass my drug test. Sleeping on that floor, I let my brothers take the bunk bed. Bunk yeah, bed. respect the game, I can say. Go trying to knock it out the park and want my brother. All right, so first location, we did get some goodies. Also, look at a little Supreme tee. Nice little vintage Nike windbreaker, vintage Columbia that RJ gave me. They're all getting in the car, so I'm just going to shut up. And just like that, we are headed to Salem to the next location. Bro, that girl was like weird. I didn't know, like, yeah, she was weird, bro. It was like, that's why I had a jacket that was like kept getting like yes. way yeah. closer. Oh, she, she was damn near touching my man's hand. Bro, I'm gonna tell you, I seen her, like, I didn't want to tell you, but I seen her slip a finger, like, in your ass. She slipped the finger in, and you kind of was like Ooh. this, and you just kept digging. It. <laughs> yeah. Whatever, I'm used to this. <laughs> All right, we decided to hit another location. One thing about bins is a lot of people don't really like when you talk about it because people feel like it's gonna blow up the spot. But honestly, if you're a regular thrifter, you're not gonna want to go to the bins unless you're spending like six to eight hours there there's really no point even going because you spend all day if you're gonna find something like when you guys see a haul i spent all day there so it's definitely not like the racks but you can definitely find some heat if you want to put in the time. RJ found these right here, which have this like camouflage that was used by number nine, which if you guys don't know, it's a Japanese brand. It was also referenced by Supreme. Then we met the nicest thrifter I've ever met in my entire life. He just gave us a bunch of stuff. We got the car hearts for the baby, not to mention it's distressed. So you know this baby was either high fashion or a construction worker of the sorts. Super nice de-stressed tarpenter pants. Look at these, look how distressed these are. They're shorts and they're pants, they're chants. And the first thing I found right when I walked in was this beautifully distressed Carhartt vest. Ooh, vest and distressed rhyme bars, baby. Because I spit hot fire. All right, yo, this dude right here is the nicest thrifter I've ever met. So look, first of all, I walk up to him. He has a vintage Reebok in his cart and I'm like, yo, can I buy it? He literally is just like, oh, just have it. I'm so confused. I'm like, is he like scamming me or something? Like what's going on? Why is he giving me stuff for free? And then not to mention, he gave me some free stuff. I bought some stuff off of him. He just like blessed me with some heaters. Not to mention, I put some stuff in my car that he just blessed me with. This dude right here, 
is so fucking dope. Check him out. I'm gonna put his Instagram like right here on the screen. This dude is fucking solid. I appreciate you, brother. Hey, anytime, man. Anytime, Jacob. Yo, it was for real a blessing to meet you. I'm like sad we just met and, and then, then you're moving. It's, 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 it's like, like, what no, the fuck, it's all bro? Good. No, seriously. Oh. We're blessed to be a blessing, right? And that's what the community's about. So thank you for all you do, man. Seriously, thank you for your service. Like, that's the most important dude, thing there. So thank you, brother. You are fucking dope. Oh, man. All right, guys. It is dark as fuck outside and uh, I'm tired. My freaking leg hurts, but um, we're gonna go inside this Value Village on the way back home and hopefully we can find some heat. Little Nike Denver Broncos colorway, little orange and blue. I had to. The f she didn't even say anything. She just felt like interrupted me for no reason. That being said, I do need to figure out what the price is. So uh, hopefully it's a reasonable price. Yeah, they wanted $16 for that Nike jacket. Absolute dick smoking price. So not gonna get that. They said restroom, far back corner. That does not look like the restroom. That looks like I'm gonna get murdered if I walk back there. So let's just go over here. Maybe, ooh, restrooms. Well, I apologize for not going to the restroom with you guys and kind of the abrupt ending. I was so tired yesterday and I just got distracted. Like when the homie that I showed you guys just gave me free shit, it like threw me off my game. Like I wasn't even thinking about recording anymore. I was just so amazed at the kindness that he showed. Cause for those of you guys that don't know, I've been thrifting for a long time. If you go back on my channel, I started doing trips to the thrift before I was doing Supreme. And at that time, the community was still relatively small. And as the community has grown, I've seen a lot more pretentious behavior. So it was really refreshing to meet dude and just kind of like, I don't know, bro. It just took me by surprise because I just did not expect such genuine kindness. He actually gave me this. He gave me a bunch of other pieces as well as sold me some shit. I'm not going to show it off in this video because I already have so much shit, but I'm going to show it off in the next video. That being said, let's get right into the haul and show you guys what we picked up. So we got this from the last location. There's a little bit of dirt around the collar region of this piece. When I say a little bit, I mean a lot of bit. I'm going to try to clean that dirt out. That being said, I'm pretty sure it would come out regardless if I don't get it out. Out, it would probably be pretty easy to oxy clean that and get this nice and clean and crisp I don't see any stains that just don't look like dirt stains but that being said, we also got this hundreds of pieces. This is another piece that I have to wash because whoever owned it had like some sort of cat or something, but it's in really good condition other than the cat hair that is just contaminating the uh, garment. We got this North Face piece. Uh, this is gonna go up on the page. I don't tax for North Faces. This is probably gonna be really cheap, especially because this zipper right here doesn't zip up. The zipper's broken, but I mean, this isn't like an essential zipper. It's just an open pocket. I'm literally gonna have this up for probably $10. Now this is a crazy piece, a reversible Nike jacket. You have this quilted outer lining with the check on the titty just cupping your breasticle chesticle not breasticle chesticle anyways big nike check on the back all embroidered and like i said this is reversible so you can unzip this and you can wear the navy side which once again has the orange Nike check on the titty. Cupping your shit like some 30 D double Ds. Now we got this Boston Seafoam Green crew neck. Once again, this is just an essential piece. I like finding pieces like this because it's made in the USA. It is a vintage piece. It's gonna have that nice vintage feel. It's not anything crazy. So this is gonna be posted for like eight to $10. I like posting essentials like this just because, I don't know, I feel like if I was from, if this said Tacoma or Washington, I would consider keeping it. It's a really nice color, super nice essential crew neck. It has a really good feel to it. It's like garment dyed. So it's something that you would see from like Kith, but instead of saying kid that says Boston. This right here is insane. I bought this. I think I paid like 60 for this or something around there, uh, but it's just such a cool piece. You have the big Nike check on the back right there. The colorway is crazy. Vintage Nike, definitely one of the better tags. If you guys are interested in this, hit me up. I don't think I have photos of this to post yet. It's a size medium. If someone doesn't end up DMing me about this piece, then I'll end up posting it to the website. You have this uh, Cougars Pro Player jacket embroidery. You got the tiger on the titty. Cougar embroidery on the back going super crazy. Found this in the bins as well. We got this Sonics joint. Sonics patch on the titty you got some stripage going down like some sort of harness the only flaw in this piece is there's a small little cut right on the neck I don't know if someone got slashed or something barely visible but definitely a cool piece to add to the collection this is an insane piece single stitch space jam if you are in the vintage you guys know some people probably won't know what this piece is worth but I've already had some pretty crazy offers on this piece the fade is insane this piece is nuts I'll probably end up saving this for an auction just because it is such a grail what's love got to do got to do with it when you use and drugs you're only cheating yourself out of the chance to find out who you really can be. 93 right there, super dope piece as well. I got that off Godzilla. You got this Santana piece right here. World Tour, dead stock, literally brand freaking new. You got this Luda piece right here. Luda with the exclamation mark. And you got Luda Chris. It's really dope. You have all these little badges underneath. You have the little disturbing the piece, Def Jam Records, etc., etc. Super dope long sleeve. This is insane. Happy Halloween. I'm probably gonna save this and sell this on Halloween. The amount of printing on this thing, there's like a bunch of 
of puff print, glitter, like the printing is pristine. Utah, Colorado, Arizona, New Mexico, just super dope, clean graphic, nice essential tee. Single stitch, of course, little retired single stitch tee as well that I got from my homie RJ, little M&M tee. They're going golfing like Tiger Woods. Little vintage Conception Records. I think this is a records company in Seattle. Really cool on the Toltecs, one of my favorite tags if you guys don't know. Toltecs and Onita tags are some of my favorites. A Mariner's tee, also super dope as well. I love finding Mariner's pieces. Seems like a lot of you guys like those as well. You have this, this is super sick. Guardians of Paradise, it does have some holes in this armpit right here. Uh, for me personally, I don't really give a fuck about holes. Ocean Pacific, little vintage tee. I believe this is single stitch, yes. You have a little, I think Alan Jackson. I don't know much about country or this, um, but I mean, if you're an Alan Jackson fan, this piece is freaking dope. It's on a vintage screen stars, which is a lot of people's favorite and it's like super thin. Some people like the thin tees. I know that's in right now. That's like very like high fashion, but you know, I, I get it. You know, everyone's got their preference. You have this little Salem cigarettes uh, tee right here, basically dead stock, single stitch. And not only do we have this one, but we got another one, baby. Okay, anyways, moving on. You have the Spirit of America B2 bomber dropping bombs on that ass. What's crazy is when I was in Afghanistan, for those of you guys that don't know, the reason I like a lot of these like vintage military pieces is because I served in the military myself. And when I was in Afghanistan, I was actually working closely with someone who used to work on the B2 bomber. You have this right here. If you're from the Northwest, this is sick. The News Tribune and then the fastest growing paper in the Northwest. Super sick back hit. This Woody crew neck is fucking nuts. By the way, if you guys see anything you want to buy that's not on the page right now, a lot of this stuff is going to be on the site. But if it's not on the page at the time of showing this, just screenshot it, ask me the size. And if it's your size, ask me how much. I will sell some things in the DMs on Thrift Row, T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W. But make sure you screenshot the piece if you guys want to buy it because I always have to ask like which one, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, Universal Pictures, Woody crew neck, super dope vintage graphic. Another dope vintage crew neck. This one's on a Santee sweats and it's a Paramount sweat. I don't know if this is like early 90s or late 80s. This is such a sick essential Paramount Pictures crew neck. If you're into movies and you like collecting movie pieces, that's absolutely Mando. Little Mariner's crew neck. A little Made in the USA Patagonia and that beautiful coding purple colorway. Blue tag Nike check. I actually have a good amount of Nike checks as well. Holy shit, dude. This mound over here is going crazy. It's getting pretty hectic. Uh, that being said, we also have a white tag Nike check. These have gone up so much lately. Not even six months ago, these were going for like $30. I think it's ever since Travis Scott started wearing these Nike checks and people started doing research on them. The white tags have been going for anywhere from $70 to $200. I've seen center checks go for like $250. Like it's weird because $70 is honestly like a good price at this point. It's just insane to see how much those have risen. A little bit newer, but super dope piece right here. Nike check on the right side as well. Vintage made in the USA, Russell Athletic, little uh, Tides basketball crew neck. This right here, I think is like a bootleg Nike piece, but it's such a dope Nike piece. Nike spell out on the front, fat Nike spell out on the back as well. The reason I think it's bootleg is because I do not see a tag, but super sick regardless. Little Cougars joint, you know what I'm saying? Everyone loves themselves a Cougar. Shout out to all my MILFs out there. We appreciate you. This is insane as well all I, I i got way too sometimes i get too excited man i'm sorry i'm sorry anyways you got this right here nike check on the titty and then you got the big nike check down here just covering your ass cheeks so that way if baby got back then you know what i'm saying she definitely want to wear this and accentuate her butt cheeks all contrast stitching black and blue and what's really cool about this is if you look on the buttons you'll see like the little nike check right there on the buttons as well black tag nike check blue tag nike check silver tag nike check windbreaker nike check we got a lot of nike checks we also got these polo corduroys I got these for $2. It is missing a button. So I'm going to have to either wait till I get a button for this or just use it for fabric. But I just thought it was really dope. Polo corduroys and their size, uh, I think 36. Yeah, 36 by 34. Super dope to find those for two buckarooskies. Adidas joint. This is also reversible. Uh, you actually can reverse this into like a fleece. It's got like a fleece lining with the big Adidas logo on the back. Like on the back on the inside. I mean, like here, I'll show you. Let me just ugh. in there. You dig? Dude, I got to put my glasses on because I can't see shit. You got this little Harley Savannah Georgia tee. Single stitch Onita. This is my favorite tag. Look at the tag, guys. Look how beautiful that tag is. Anyway, Cooters. This is a vintage single stitch on the Fruit of the Loom. I don't know what KTQRTLY is, but I just thought this like bag right here. I think it is. Wait, hold on. Can't swim tennis club. Why do you have a swim and tennis club? Is that like a thing? Do they swim while they play tennis or do they play tennis while they swim? I don't know. It seems kind of a weird little mix, but either way, you have a water and land sport uniting. I feel like uh, my man, my man, Michael Phelps would absolutely love to dive into that. You have this vintage like United Airlines tee, single stitch, of course, on the Hanes 5050. Super lightweight. If you guys are into those kind of like old, like vintage style tees, kind of has like almost like an 80s fit. You have this Cedar Heights Timberwolves right here. This is on a little made in the USA 
great jerseys tag. Super nice, like garment dyed. It has this beautiful, like green fade to it. Brand new with tag Space Academy shirt. Look at them tags, baby. Super dope print. Also single stitch as well. Super dope vintage South Dakota piece. I love finding these like little tourist pieces. They have these little cartoons on them. It's obviously got Mount Rushmore right here, but it has like all the different locations and different things to do in your state. Some of it might've changed because those are from the 90s. This is a little Hard Rock San Antonio tee. I'm honestly just gonna include this in someone's package. Some vintage Nike pants. I'm probably just gonna throw this in with whoever buys the uh, Nike windbreaker, the burgundy and white one. Then we have this vintage Nautica piece. Shout out little Yachty, Nautica embroidery on the back right there. You have this cool little color block uh, windbreaker. This vintage Taz crew neck is super dope as well. Taz looks like a fucking player. Is he wearing like an Adidas track suit? Dude, why does he look like he's about to steal your bitch? Oh, you thought we were done? Psych, we got so much more, bro. This is why I couldn't show off all the stuff that I bought from the homie, because I got a lot more. We got all these snapbacks, 49er snapback, cool like Taz and Bugs Bunny snapback, Space Jam snapback, Charlotte Hornets snapback, went crazy with the snapbacks in this one. We got this Denver Broncos, John Elway tee right here, vintage Nike long sleeve. I picked this up because I see a lot of people selling like old made in the USA pieces. Like I said, this is gonna be super cheap on the site. You have this cool like native pattern. It's blanket lined, kind of like the Carhartt. So if you can't afford a Carhartt, but you wanna feel what blanket line is like. I don't like when people start taxing. We got this super thrash Carhartt. People love the thrash Carhartt. Obviously you can see like the bottom is super thrash. I'm gonna still have this for a good deal. I see a lot of vintage pages posting like these vintage Carhartts for like $150, which is insane. Look at that patch right there. Even the patch is kind of thrash, which looks really dope. A lot of people have been complimenting the wash on that. Vintage Columbia joint. This is super dope. I love vintage Columbia and I love the color blocking on these. You guys know how I feel about these. Size extra large. God, I wish this was my size. Super dope Lakers hoodie. You can see the little Lakers uh, puff print right here with the all over Lakers pattern going all the way around the hoodie. Also, I feel like my hair is busting nuts in my face. <laughs> this uh, North Face right here. This is gonna be posted for a steal. I don't think there's any damage to this one. So it's gonna be a little bit more than the other one, but still it's gonna be cheaper than they usually have them literally for sale in the racks. Like I try to keep my prices thrift store prices. Obviously there's certain pieces that I'm not gonna post like for $5 or $6. Obviously there's certain pieces I'm going to post a little bit up, but even like this Patagonia I posted for a hundred bucks. Those go online for anywhere from 150 to $300. Like the cheapest price I could find was 150 bucks and it was not as good of a size. Anyways, you got these Rothko uh, pants in the Supreme Brooklyn camo. Just kidding. It's just like this yellow camo. Cool to find and they are Rothko's which is kind of like the creator of that colorful camo. Super dope Supreme men Dini Gunty, what the but like that is actually crazy, bro. I love this collaboration. I do wish it was a rayon. It would probably be in the personal collection if it was rayon. Size medium, super dope to see in the thrifts. A Nike windbreaker as well. I bought this and that Mandini gun tee off my homie Ant. That nice vintage tag. These are fire. Anyway, cool little 96 single stitch vintage tee. Single stitch Barcelona Olympics tee. You have these Reebok pants, but I'm actually gonna just give those to whoever ends up buying this vintage uh, Reebok windbreaker. You see the little Reebok chest hit right there. And what's really dope about this one, not only is the colorway crazy, but look at the big ass Reebok logo going all the way around the back. I love when they do that. I think it's really cool how they incorporate the logo into the sleeve. God damn, on my face. LSU crew neck, made in the US of A, Adidas hoodie right here. If people just change this from the Adidas stripes to a Nike check, it'd be going for like 80 to $90, but it's made in the USA. Cool vintage Adidas piece, nice little essential. We got this uh, Dare tee right here. I'm gonna release some of my Dare tees on Thrift Row. We got this little Jesus tee right here, which was another gift from the homie, actually the homie John, shout out to John, and then this Corona tee that I found in the bins down in Oregon. But yeah, man, we got so much shit. Like look at all this stuff around me, holy shit. We got a lot of stuff to post to the page. So if you guys do not follow Thrift Row, follow Thrift Row, T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W. I don't know why I hit my hand every single time I did a letter. It's gonna be somewhere on the screen in the description down below. Thank you guys for rocking me. Seriously, I am only like 8,000 something away from 10,000. My goal is to hit 10,000 by 2020. Hopefully I can achieve that goal. Thank you guys so much. Also, I announced this a little bit. I did start a TikTok. Sadly, I did not make a TikTok on my like little Portland trip to there. But if you guys enjoy these like little 20 minute videos, I wanna start compiling these 20 minute videos into like little one minute brief segments on TikTok. I got like one video that's got like 36,000 views, which is freaking dope. So go follow me on there as well. A link to everything will be in the description down below. So you're gonna see my Instagram, you're gonna see my website, and you're gonna see the TikTok down in the description. Make sure you go check it out. If there's anything you wanna buy and it's not posted to the site or sold out on the site, then definitely hit me up on Thrift Row, DM me, shoot me a screenshot of the piece. I'll ask what size it is, I'll let you know the size, and then if it fits you, then you know we'll talk price and kind of figure something out if there's anything that you want for your personal. I've been thrifting like crazy lately. Thank you guys for the support. I appreciate it for the top, bottom of my heart.
heart. And uh, yeah, man, hopefully you guys been enjoying the video. Smash the like button down below, subscribe and turn on post notifications if you wanna see more. The likes and engagement on these videos truly is what helps push them into the YouTube algorithm. It feeds the YouTube algorithmic gods. So please do that for your boy. Thank you guys so much for watching, like I said. And uh, yeah, man, I don't know, dude. I just feel so freaking good that these videos are popping off. Thank you guys. Hopefully you guys keep supporting it so I can keep making more of these. Cause like I said, man, this is really what I love to do. And if I could spend every single day in the trenches, in the bins, just digging and sifting through clothes, that's what I would do. All right, man. I love you guys. As always, keep them the star life. Appreciate you from the top bottom of my heart and peace the fuck out. Hey, bitch, holler when you feel this. Fresh up out the county, tell them hoes to get up on me. I was in that motherfucker with some killers.